this series we'll be creating a endless runner. Uh, sorry uh, for uh, my. Um, sorry because I, I'm sorry because I uh, wasn't uh, making a videos for a long time. I mean, like uh, the my last video was a horror game update, and I wasn't doing a tutorials for a long time, but. Uh, I'm starting again now and uh, uh, yeah I will continue in the FPS series, uh, series is, uh, as long as I can get uh, any idea what uh, to, to make but now I'm starting a new series uh, and it will be endless runner how to make an endless runner in unity and in this tutorial we'll be creating a player movement and we'll also be creating a how to how to make um, yeah how to make a uh, endless path generator if you have time okay so let's let's start start by create uh, go to edit to render settings and uh, choosing a skybox material I will choose a nice sunny okay. sunny skybox over here and now I'll go to game object create 3d object create cube and I'll just place that yeah, a bit up and scale it with that scaling tool over here that you can scale only on the one uh, direction so you don't have to use the regular scaling tool I will set the scale to 8 because it's um, easy to calculate how uh, far will have to uh, will other path have to be so yeah it looks okay now go to game object create a light and we'll be using the directional light uh, in this case and I'll just make it uh, intensity I'll set to 2 and um, I will create uh, I will create a new material for our path and I'll name that path no. path and I'll uh, change the shader to specular so it will be a bit more shiny uh, we'll ch choose a color I'll choose a nice like orange uh, brown here okay and we'll choose the specular color to white that's our color of shininess and a shininess I'm no let me just let me just drag the thing how it looks okay it looks good actually I'll change choose the default here and now I'll go to a uh, game object and create another 3d object that will be a player game object sphere in the following tutorials we'll be creating a player in blender uh, we'll be creating a cartoon ch character but for this uh, first tutorial we'll be just using sphere okay look is good I mean okay I'll drag it a bit up make it a bit smaller so uh, you know you could can add more obstacles um, a bit smaller okay yeah, that looks okay. I mean, okay. Yes. Now go to create. Uh, I mean, uh, right click uh, on the assets and create a material. Another material. I'll name that our uh, player called a scholar. Okay, and well. Uh, change that to specular and main color I'll choose nice green okay here okay and we'll choose a uh, specular color as white so it's like four and this one I want it a bit more like you know a real soft one here okay Okay, mm, let me just change the direction of light a bit more like 4, no, <laughs> way too much. Okay, 
okay let's let's say three is a good number uh, now um, we want to create a player movement so first add the component a rigid body okay no not to the rigid body add component rigid body and just change the mass to 50 um, and I want to mm, add a camera so uh, as you can see this is this is the x-axis over here so we'll be moving the player on the x-axis and we'll choose a positive number so I want you to uh, rotate on the x-axis no on the here here 100 to choose on the y-axis as minus 180 and if I you see now we have x-axis in this direction position on the X okay now uh, I want to make a game object camera and I want to uh, position this camera uh, first to uh, look like it's uh, as it's positioned in the runner games so like something like this just a bit spinned like in zigzag if you know the game um if you want to okay i think we got that feeling just change the projection to orthographic okay let's see the game well, it looks pretty nice um now uh we want to make the ca uh, uh, game object create empty and make the child of the camera so just uh, to position it uh, now change the position of the game object to 0 on the x and the y and the z axis so we'll uh, have it on the same position as the camera and now drag it out of the camera and camera on the game object so the camera is a uh, uh, child of the game object because we want our game object to be uh, to follow uh, uh, we'll be creating a following uh, script uh, for our game object to follow the player so uh, uh, so we don't have problems if uh, game uh, our camera is a child of the sphere it will rotate if the player rotates and we're using rigid body so that's not very stable so yeah let's uh, continue by going uh, to our sphere and create uh, actually just add a component we'll be adding these three scripts move xz move Z and move so if I open one of the scripts up and quickly explain these scripts to you okay wait for mono develop to start Quick. Can be any slower. Oh, come on. Okay, so our first script is the move script, which will uh, allow us uh, allow our sphere to move to eternity. That's just. Uh, let me just. Okay, so that's a function uh, in function update. Uh, it means that it will call whatever it's in the function update rapidly, like real quick and uh, we call here that we are transforming the position that we are changing the position on the x axis by 0 0.2 uh, units uh, and that will be like pretty fast it will be moving pretty fast and it will be moving rapidly so we won't uh, see that it's like changing the position it will just smoothly move uh, so the next script is move z that will just allow us if we press our a button uh, down uh, to uh, slowly change the position on the uh, z axis here uh, by 0 0.06 units and uh, if you put as you can see we don't have down here because uh, by key uh, we can call this rapidly and if we would write here down uh, it will just 
it will just quickly change the position and it will look really ugly ugly so yeah that way it looks pretty nice and on the move x z uh, it's the same just it moves in the other direction in the z minus direction so it moves uh, from uh, on the I think it's on the right and in this we call by uh, pressing uh, D button so if I close this down okay 7 close and uh, I add okay I already have the scripts here but we need another script here on the game object camera we have to add the uh, script uh, called camera follow okay and uh, let me just quickly explain the script also uh, variable z that will be our transform so our target our uh, sphere and uh, transfer the position on the vector tree that means on our uh, three axes x y and z but we'll all be, be using the x axis and the z axis uh, transform that position dot y that means that y axis will stay the same and uh, we'll be following uh, our uh, sphere on the x axis on and on the z axis so under update you already know why because uh, it calls it rapidly and transform because our play, uh, sphere will be changing the position uh, uh, in other uh, way explaining it will be transforming the position uh, so if you drag our sphere over here and if you play the scene as you can see it goes on the other direction that's because of our script if you go to our uh, sphere and just uh, open the move script over here we have to change a thing here uh, if your player will move on the other direction that you want just change the uh, minus and plus we'll ch name uh, we'll choose that minus so it will move on the other direction uh, if you have problems with that so uh, just change the plus to minus okay remember that and now if I play the scene oh come on what was that? okay so yeah also the Z axis and the Y axis changed uh, if I large the, uh, make it larger Uh, as you can see, if I'm pressing a if I'm pressing a button, it uh, it's changing the position on the right, and if I press D button, it's changing position on the left. So we have to change that. Uh, go to a uh, go to your sphere and go to your move Z script, and just change the minus and plus. So um, we'll be. Okay, uh, here I choose I'll choose the minus, and on the move x, I'll choose plus. It's really that easy to change. It. And if I close that and save, save it. Um, let me just. Uh, okay. Now it should work. Yeah. As you can see, it works. But I think uh, it moves a lot faster than we want. Um, so go again to your move script. And uh, I want it to move uh, twice as less as it moves so let me change that to 0 0.1 uh, I could do that float but 
yeah I could make a float variable there okay now if I uh, play my, uh, our scene it would move a lot slower and as you can see it looks better and yeah uh, camera is following perfectly if your camera isn't following perfectly just uh, change the position of the camera because uh, our go game object is actually, actually following, following the sphere so uh, yeah it's just um, if you uh, want your camera to be a bit uh, uh, on the back just uh, put it back if you want to be more in front just put it front it's just I that easy to change the camera's position while our game object is following the sphere so I want to now we have our basic uh, running scene and let me just change the scale to 8 because we'll be using 8 when we'll be uh, transforming will be instantiating tiles to make an endless path uh, we won't be doing this in today's tutorial because we already have uh, gone out of time so uh, yeah we have our basic movement script and uh, yeah that's just it and we have a uh, camera follow uh, script right here and okay go to file and save scene and if you don't s didn't save it like uh, I did uh, go to save as and yeah uh, thank you for watching guys uh, hope you enjoyed uh, if you liked it leave a like and uh, subscribe and share bye